What's good, faves? It's your fave, Miss Renee. You guys, I am back at it again with another good food for your soul coming up right now. So, before we dive into this good food for your soul, let me make sure that we're all on the same page and so that everyone understands what good food for your soul really is. So, if you are watching this as a video by way of my YouTube channel, Faith Miss Renee, welcome. However, if you are listening to this as an audio on Talking Up Tuesdays with Fave Miss Renee over on Envision Radio, welcome again. You guys, if you're watching, please make sure that you go and smash that subscribe button and make sure that you turn that bell notification on so every time I upload a video, you'll see it in your notifications. And if you're listening, make sure that you tune in every Tuesday at 1 o'clock on Envision Radio for another edition of Talk It Up Tuesdays with Faith Miss Renee. Now, we just said all of that. Hmm. Also, understand that good food for your soul is not a cooking segment. No, we don't cook food here. However, we take in nourishment that is good food for our soul. So here with Faith Miss Renee, we have conversations based on love, life, relationships, mindfulness, and everything that's good for your soul. We are indeed taking in nourishment to be a better version of ourselves every single day so you ready the pots are simmering and i'm ready to share some of this good food for your soul coming up right now okay faves so it's time to break bread our topic tonight is my brown skin is beautiful Ooh, honey, now say it again like you really, really mean it. My brown skin is beautiful. Yes, it is. So I thought it was necessary, even in the year 2022, for us to be just perfectly clear on how brown skin girls feel about their brown skin. You know, you would think that that's not a thing. You would think that we've grown, we've grown past that. Unfortunately, we haven't. You still have some girls feeling ashamed and less than because their skin complexion is darker than others. So I thought tonight, let's set the record straight once and for all. Now, if you're brown, I'm going to need you to say it with me and say it with authority. My brown skin is beautiful. Own it, girls. I always tell my young people, faith it until you make it. So tonight, I need you to believe it and receive it as it truly, truly is. So, you know, when I was younger, let me be just a little transparent. When I was little, I was judged on the color of my skin. I was. There were people that preferred lighter complected black people than darker complected black people. I know, right? Mm -hmm. And I was dark. It's crazy how I was darker then than I am now. But I was definitely a lot darker. I was cocoa. But I felt good about being cocoa. I wasn't mad. 
And I didn't really understand why some to be prettier and liked more because they had lighter complexions. But it didn't bother me. I knew that God loved me and I was special in His sight. That really did help me. And that really did help encourage me. And even though there were people that I encountered as I grew up that didn't like my brown skin, it didn't bother me. My skin got a little thicker. And I was okay with that. Listen, brown skin girls are just as beautiful. Hey, you have to know it and feel it on the inside of you. Understand that anyone that judges you based on the color and complexion of your skin, they're not honoring God with that. Girl, that nonsense is ridiculous. Let me tell you something. Beauty is found in the eye of the beholder. And not only is it found in the beholder's eye, but also how do you feel about you from the inside out, baby girl? That's the most important part here. If you feel pretty, you are pretty. It's just like that. Pretty is not always the physical aspect. Sometimes pretty is the mindset. How do you feel about you? I remember when I was a little girl, a really little girl, and in Sunday school at church on Sundays, we used to sing this song. Jesus loves me, this I know, for the Bible tells me so. Little ones to him belong. They are weak, but he is strong. And I really believed that. And I knew, even as a little girl, that I was special in the sight of God. So that kind of fueled my energy on how I really felt about me. I knew that God loved me. So even when other people didn't treat me or look at me as if they loved me, it didn't really matter because the one who mattered the most, I knew he did. So, I know that helped me out a lot as a child. And I know we've gone, sadly, young people in today's world seems like they've distanced themselves from God. And so, when you distance yourself from God, it's harder for you to believe and trust in him and in his words to you. So when you think about the complexion of your skin, don't you try to change anything about your beautiful brown skin. Don't try to change it, bleach it, color it, enhance it. Oh no, child, you are beautifully made, wonderfully created, just the way you are. No, you don't have to be light, bright, almost white to be appreciated, to be thought well of, to feel beautiful. Your brown is beautiful. Screaming from the rooftop, girl. Your brown is beautiful. Every day, say it to yourself. Every day, look in the mirror and say to yourself, my brown skin is beautiful. And don't you go trying to change anything because he that really beholds you loves you just the way you are. That's the way he created you to be. I would like to think that um, if nothing else, seeing me and my brown skin and me embracing what God created me to be 
it would help to encourage you as well to remember that brown is beautiful. The darker the berry, the sweeter the juice. And y'all know that's the oldest, cutest saying ever. But I want you guys to really come into the knowledge of self-love. Self-love and self-care. To embrace the skin you're in. And to always feel like you are worthy. You are enough. Please know that. Please believe it. And listen, the next time someone tries to look at you and say something offensive or make you feel like you're not enough, you tell them loud and proud. My brown skin is beautiful. And honey, if you don't like it, you need to take it up with God. He made me like this. And I most definitely love him for it. Now, don't forget, even if you don't feel it just yet, fake it until you make it. But you start making it right now. Don't y'all forget, honey, the darker the berry, the sweeter the juice. <laughs> yeah, don't forget that either. Hey, guys. I to say it loud one more time. My brown skin is beautiful. Ooh, honey, yes. Every day you say it. And when I say fake it, I'm not saying fake it. I'm saying by faith, faith it until you make it, girl. You're almost there. Don't stop now. Your brown skin is really beautiful. Now, I will see you guys real, real soon. Y'all know it's vlogmas. So keep your heads up and your eyes open. And I'll see you right here. Same time and place. Mwah. Blessings to you all. Till next time.